Bolveni Bafundi, lecture three on the body, and another exercise. This time where we are going to state that I am troubled by this particular part of the body. And we have grouped them to make this exercise easier for you. So here we go. Ndi Kadhazwa, I am troubled. Amalungu, Ngamalungu. Amazinho, Ngamazinho. Ama, Tra, Ngama, Tra. Ama dolo, Ngama dolo. Ama kata, Ngama kata. Amatambo, Ngama tambo. Ameso, Ngameso. So all of these ama words, if you are troubled by them, you will merely prefix, as you can see in every case, nga. Gamalungu, gamazinho, gamatra, gamatolo, gamatata, gamatambo, gameso, and we're going to move on to the next group now. And in this next group, you'll notice that we are working with words that begin with um. So I'm troubled by the body, by my spine, mouth, throat, finger, leg. Um zimba. Ngum zimba. Um kolo. Ngum kolo. By my spine. Umlomo Ngumlomo by my mouth. Umkala Ngumkala by my throat. Umnwe my finger. Ngumnwe. Umlenze my leg. Ngumlenze. Following this, let us look at words beginning with I-N. In Tloko, in Lebe, in Damo, in Galo, and I'm troubled by my head, ear, neck, and arm. In Tloko, in Tloko, in Lebe, in Lebe, in Damo, in Damo, in Galo, Yi ngalo. And then three words beginning with imi. Iminwe, fingers. Imi lenze, legs. Imi punga, the lungs. So I'm troubled by those particular parts of the body. Iminwe, yiminwe. Imi lenze, yimi lenze. Imi punga, Yimi punga. So I'm troubled by my fingers, by my legs, and by my lungs. And now words that begin with ili or i. I'm troubled by my eye, iliso, izinho, the two tooth, ili, tra, the shoulder, itolo, the knee, i, kata, the ankle, itambo, the bone. Iliso will become Lili so Izinho Li Zinho Ili tra Lili tra Idolo Li dolo I kata Li I tambo Li tambo and now the next little group of words, this time beginning with isi. Isi shasha, wrist. Isandla, hand. Isi fuba, chest. Isisu, stomach. Isi shunu, 
muscle. So I am troubled by my wrist. Isihlahla, sisihlahla. Isandla, sisandla. Isifuba, sisifuba. Isisu, sisisu. Isihlunu, si sihlunu. And here we have a large group of words beginning with izi, izi shasha, izanza, izi shunu, inlebe, double I. And these double I words I want you to pretend as though there is a Z hidden between the two I's. Okay, I'm not going to put them all in, but just to give you an idea. So izi shasha, izanza, izi shunu, inlebe. Ingalo, Inyawo, Inzane, Imbambo. So I am being troubled by those particular parts of the body. By now, maybe you can work out where we are heading with this type of exercise, namely that you will always take something out of the highlighted front part or prefix of the word. So, Izihlasla, maybe you've guessed that we use zi zihlahla z izandla zizandla by my hands izihlunu zizihlunu by my muscles indlebe zindlebe by my ears ingalo zingalo by my arms inyawo Zinyawo by my feet. Inzwane. Zinzwane by my toes. Imbambo. Zimbambo by my ribs. And then the last four. Unyawo foot. Uzwane. The toe. Ulusu the skin. And one that stands on its own. Uku putelwa lack of sleep. So I'm troubled by my unyawo. Unyawo lu nyawo. Uzwane lu zwane. Ulusu lulusu. And ukuputelwa just to be something different. Kukuputelwa. So I'm being troubled by a lack of sleep. So you can see then that the nouns in the body parts, uh, the nouns are being grouped according to a feature that they share in the front of the word. And when we are troubled by that particular part of the body, we borrow or take something out of that front part of the word and use it again in front of the noun. So izi shasha became zi zi shasha. Isisu, that isi part there, we just took the S. Ili, the, the Ili was the prefix, we took the L, and so on. So, quite a good exercise and very useful uh, expression for you to, to learn. Ikosika kulu bafundi. So bonana 